Today is March 11. Today's quote is entitled, Bliss is Krishna's Mercy. The karmi may think he is accumulating wealth by his hard endeavor. The jnani that he is gaining knowledge by his tedious study. And the yogi that he has attained mystic powers by long years of austerity. By contrast, the pure devotee knows that the bliss he feels in the course of his devotional service is due simply to the mercy of the Supreme Lord. So, this verse, uh, I don't think I wrote this, and I'm sorry, but I can't quote this. Or I, It sounds like something I read, either from the Jaiva Dharma and paraphrased it, or it's actually a quote from the Jaiva Dharma, and I'm not quoting it. But what this verse is saying, or this quotation is saying, is that everyone, other than the devotee, thinks that whatever they're achieving, they're achieving because of their own effort, their own endeavor, their own power, their own intelligence, their own strength. And they have to work hard according to a formula. And the whole idea of success from a material conception is there are formulas, there are practices, there are principles. And if you follow those formulas, you will get the result. It's like natural law. You do A, B, and C, and D, and you get the result. So these are the principles of karma. And if you do these principles, then you'll get elevated to the higher planets. I just have to do A, B, and C, worship the demigods in this way, do these rituals. These are the principles of jnana. I have to study, discriminate, detach, and so forth. These are the principles of yoga. These practices, this meditation done in this way at this time, and so forth. So, so the mood is, it's all about my effort, my endeavor. But the bhakta is different. It's not that the bhakta doesn't endeavor. The bhakta knows that I must endeavor. But the bhakta knows that the result is not the product, the byproduct of my endeavor. It's the byproduct of mercy. My endeavor brought about the mercy. My endeavor did not bring about the result. That's the distinguishing factor. My effort attracted Krishna's compassion upon me, and therefore Krishna became merciful to me. And then by his mercy, I was able to become purified, elevated. Whatever I'm achieving in devotional service is happening by his mercy. But it wasn't because I did A, B, and C. It's not a karma Kanda system, A, B, and C produces D. In bhakti, you can do A and get the result of doing so many things if you attract Krishna's mercy or you attract the compassion of the guru who will give you his kripa. Kripa siddhi means you become perfected without doing all the standard processes. Now, Prabhupada said, we don't rely on kripa siddhi. We have standard processes, but still... By executing those standard processes, there is so much Kripa City contained within that in the sense that what we get from it is so much greater than what we put out. So in, in that sense, even though we're making this huge effort in Krishna consciousness, there's an extreme amount of mercy that we don't deserve that's coming as a gift in reciprocation from Guru and Krishna for our effort. So yes, we're getting mercy due to our effort, our effort does have something to do with it. But what we're producing is not directly a consequence of our effort. What we're producing is the consequence is attracting the mercy of Guru and Krishna, and then the mercy of Guru and Krishna are producing a result which is far beyond our effort. So in that sense, we can say our effort isn't producing the result, at least not A, B, C, you get D. In bhakti, it's not like that. It's like when you get Krishna's mercy, everything happens. So that's the difference. And 
Therefore, the bhakta has this humility, so he knows whatever he's doing, it will only be successful by Krishna's mercy. But the jnani, the karmi, the yogi, they think it'll be successful if I execute the process perfectly. Perfectly, So it's my effort that's creating the success.